Hello, a solid-state Tesla coil is a type of Tesla coil that uses solid-state solid electronic components to generate high voltage, high frequency alternating current electricity. The use of modern, semicon modern semiconducting elements make it possible to make such miniature and efficient devices. In this video, I will present you a miniature Tesla coil that can be buy online for a price of several tens of dollars. The shipment contains uh, several parts. This is a Tesla coil module. Next, a 48 volts. 1.2 amperes power supply a needle through which the spark exits as well as two small neon lamps and metal tweezers for presentation it also contains short instructions on English First about the physical dimensions of the device, they are 9 by 9 by 3 centimeters and in that space all the electronics are placed together with aluminum uh, cooler. Even at first glance it is noticeable that the device is solidly made. The case, the case is made of transparent plexiglass so we can look inside without disassemble it. On the main PCB, the several component assemblies can be easily seen. The driver part is composed of several powerful SMD MOSFETs, uh, two of type SUM65 and 20, rated for 200 volts 60 amperes, and two smaller power MOSFETs, which are mounted on a relatively uh, massive aluminum heatsink. The other part represents an interrupter plus an audio modulator consisting of two NE555 uh, timer integrated circuits, then LM393 comparator and XL7005 step down converter. And this part is Bluetooth audio receiver for wireless and an input audio jack for wire uh, audio communication. Uh, on the on either side of the power jack uh, are two large electrolytic capacitors uh, that provide enough power during short bursts of power. On the front there are two potentiometers, one for intensity and other for controlling the frequency of the interrupter and switch for selecting standard and audio input mode of the operation. The so-called pancake coil is visible on the top side and it is the most innovative and interesting part of this Tesla coil. It actually represents a PCB spiral coil with about 130 windings and its calculated resonance frequency is 7.7 .7 kHz. The primary is located on the underside of the PCB and contains one wider winding. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. The spark is accompanied by a very loud sound that complements the excellent visual effect. The power is controlled with the left potentiometer and the discharge frequency with the right.
We can place different shapes on the needle to get interesting visual effects. Here's what this charge looks like through a thin circular disc. Next, let's test the plasma sound options, noting that for proper functioning we need to bring a so-called rectangular music signal to the input. For this purpose, I made a very simple Arduino project that actually generates a melody with this type of signal. Uh, this time we, uh, we will not dwell on the Arduino project and the code and schematic diagram are given below. The sound is intense and clear, followed by a scratched spark that changes shape depending on the frequency of the audio signal. And finally a short conclusion, despite the low price for this type of device, the test results are surprisingly good. Consumption is relatively low, the device is adapted for long term operation, the length of the sparking interrupter mode is almost 10 cm and in music mode, regardless of whether via and AUX cable or Bluetooth mode, it works flawlessly, not noting that the source music signal should have a rectangular shape. The beautiful visual effect is accompanied by an intense clear sound that even more increases the overall impression. Safety note, please do not attempt to recreate this, the experiment shown on this video unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current, even above 60 volt, may be lethal, even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the stored energy in the capacitors. I have no responsibility on any hazards caused by this circuit. And at the end, let me mention that I bought the device mentioned above with my own funds, and the manufacturer has no influence on this review. This represents my personal op opinion based on my previous experiences in making such devices.